Hey guys, we're sitting out here about to plant some of our uh, crab apple trees here in some of our food plots and I was driving by Redneck and I thought, you know, I need to do a video on what we do for scent control and also keeping mosquitoes and ticks off of you. Um, we'll first start off with our Sawyer spray. Uh, this is a um, per Permethium uh, odorless spray. I've been using this for uh, probably seven, eight years now. Um, and you know, I actually spray this stuff around my trail cameras to kind of keep ants away as well. It works very well. Um, but basically, you're spraying this stuff on um, your clothing. Uh, don't put this stuff on your skin, but it's good for seven, eight washings. And then also, you know, I'm using this from turkey season all the way into um, you know early fall uh, when those mosquitoes and ticks are pretty uh, pretty heavy out there. And then scent elimination. Um, I'm not real big on uh, soaps and sprays. Um, I've used them uh, for, a, for a long time, but the last uh, seven, eight years, um, I actually haven't used any sprays. Um, I just finally figured out that, you know, hey, there's more to this thing. I got to make it kind of the basic uh, principles of things. And I was finding myself going in and out of some locations, having deer bust me. And finally, uh, you know, I got a little bit more conservative on my hunts. Um, this is the best thing that I've come up in, uh, with is the Ozonics. Uh, unit this is the HR 300 uh, these things work great um, if you've got a downwind deer um, it, it basically covers your entire scent out whether you're hunting um, out of a redneck blind the ground blind you know a, a saddle um, climber or just a typical hang on um, these this is the best thing you know it's definitely not bulletproof but it is the best investment that I've made when it comes to scent elimination and covering my scent not only on the way in, but also during the hunt and then on the way out. Uh, that's one of the biggest um, mistakes I think hunters make is they walk in, all that scent has now been pushed in to the bedding areas. Um, you know, if that wind direction is pushing that, and then you know their stand location may be okay, um, but the entry and exits actually what push those deer out and why the reason you know your guys aren't seeing your, your mature deer that the hunt um, you know the other thing is going to be your thermals you know typically in the morning those thermals are going to rise so you know if you're sitting up on some ridge tops you know definitely keep that in mind if you're sitting below those ridge tops you know keep that in mind too those deer you know a lot of times will uh, tra travel those those ridges um, and you can potentially have a good wind direction but those thermals will lift that uh, scent right up to them and they're out of there uh, same thing with your evening hunts you know typically your evening uh, thermals are going to be progressing downward um, but not always so just make sure you understand you know what your thermals are um, also you know be cognizant of when you go your entry during the hunt and exit you know make sure that that wind direction drops solid um, I'd highly recommend you know if one of those three isn't there don't hunt that day um, you know, it can potentially blow out an area for, you know, one to two weeks, um, you know, if not blow your entire season out. So hopefully this helps you guys out some. And like always, best luck on your upcoming hunt.